The newly industrialized country Philippines has three main island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Luzon is the largest and most populous island, the island is considered to be the 15th largest island in the world, having an area of 42,458 square miles. The name Luzon is thought to derive from the Tagalog word Luzon, a large wooden mortar used in the husking rice. Some historians say it was coined after the Tagalog word Kalusanan, which means northern part. Luzon is further subdivided into eight regions. The Ilocos region. We see the windmills, Pae Church, Hundred Islands, Patar Beach, and Vigan, one of the seven wonder cities of the world. The Cagayan Valley. We see the scenic Patanas, Bayambang Cathedral, and Sierra Madre. The central Luzon. We see Balur, Kapas National Shrine, Giant Lantern Festival, and Mount Pinatuba. Calabar Zuan. We see the Ta'al Volcano, Aguinaldo Shrine, Duranite Falls, Masasa Beach, and Pugzanhan Falls, Mimaropa. We see El Nido, Apo Reef, Bonbon Beach Sandbar, and the Underground River, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Biko Region. We see the perfect Cone Mayon Volcano, Calaguas Island, and Cogsawa Ruins. Cordillera Administrative Region. We see Sagada, Strawberry Farm, Bugio City, the summer capital, Mount Pulag, Luzon's highest peak, and the Bonaway Rice Terraces, the eighth wonder of the world. The National Capital Region, the center of economy, education, entertainment, research, and government of the Philippines. The three major business districts are here, Ayala Makati, Ortigas Center, and BGC. Designated as a global power city, it is the home to all the consulates and embassies in the Philippines, thereby making it an important center for international diplomacy in the country. Let's now talk about Visayas or Cavisayan. Administratively, the Visayas is divided into three regions. The Western Visayas consists of the provinces of The Central Visayas consists of the provinces of The Eastern Visayas consists of the provinces of the major languages include Iliganan in much of Western Visayas, Cebuano in Central Visayas, and Waray in Eastern Visayas. Other dominant languages are Aklanan, Kainaraya, and Kapitsnan. Fifth, the word Visaya is commonly used to refer to the people in Visayas, not a language. It is therefore not accurate to exclusively identify Visaya with Cebuano. All Cebuanos can be called Visaya, things to do in Visayas. Visit the Chocolate Hills, or drop by the Philippine Tarsier Sanctuary in Bohol. Swim with whale sharks in Oslope. Visit Boracay. See Magellan's Cross. Relax at Monjuyug Sandbar. Swim with sea turtles near Apo Island. Famous festivals are Adiadihan in Uklan, Sinulog in Cebu, Mascara in Bacolod, and Dinagyang in Iloilo. Did you know that the Philippines' first tourist submarine is in Cebu? Did you know that the Spaniards described some inhabitants of the island of Panay and Negros as white people with no tattoos? In contrast, some inhabitants of Panay were called Pintados in reference to their practice of tattooing their entire bodies. Did you know that Magdan Cebu International Airport has been named one of the best airports in Asia in a 2019 survey conducted by SleepEngineAirports.net? It's time for Mindanao, also known as Southern Philippines. Mindanao is named after the Magindanaons who constituted the largest sultanate historically. Mindanao is considered the major breadbasket of the Philippines, with eight of the top ten agri-commodities exported from the country coming from there. That's why Mindanao is the land of promise. While the region's economy is predominantly agri-based, it is now developing into a center for agro-industrial business, trade, and tourism. Its competitive advantage is in agri-industry as its products, papayas, mangoes, bananas, pineapples, and fish products are exported internationally. Mindanao is divided into six administrative regions, Zambonga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Caraga Region, Davao Region, Soksargan, and the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Upcoming projects include the 35 billion Mindanao Railway, the 40 billion Davao Airport, the 14 billion Lagandingan Airport, and the 5 billion Malatabag Marie de Gawa Irrigation Project Phase 2. What to do in Mindanao? Ride the waves in Sargao Island. Climb the tallest mountain in the country, Mount Apo in Davao City. Raft the rapids at Cagayan River. Chase Maria Cristina Falls in Iligan City. Be a beach bum at the Pink Beach in Santa Cruz, Zambonga. Did you know that Mindanao is home to three sultanates, Mangui Danao, Muranao, and Sulu? 
Do you want to visit this 2.3 billion grand mosque of Cotabato or this pink mosque? Did you know that this dish originated here?